the nation in shock after the assassination attempt yesterday. Hundreds witnessed Trump getting shot in the ear, including several Valley locals. First News reporter Cheyenne Gibbons has more on that story. Shocking, terrifying, and traumatizing. Too much like a dream to be real. That's how attendees are describing their experience at former President Donald Trump's rally in Butler. For those attending, it was a quick turn of events. Sadly, my friends were in the stands behind Trump uh, to the left, and um, someone in front of them had gotten struck in the head. Something that you don't expect to see at some an event that everyone was laughing and having such a good time at beforehand. One witness saw a man climbing on the roof beside him. Easton Smith tried getting police's attention, but then saw the rifle and it was too late. His focus shifted to protecting his family. Grabbed all my family that was nearby and ran and got them the shelter and then I came back out. Uh, ran back and grabbed more as much as I could as long as my family was safe. So, yeah, it was it was pretty traumatic for everyone. When the first shot was fired, many had no idea what was going on, only that it wasn't good. Others recognized the sound of a gun and warned the crowd. Attendee Joe Hutz warned his section in the bleachers to get down, but what he heard after was indescribable. People started yelling that they were hit and medics and all this and... To, to hear people calling for medics and see no medics coming is something you cannot describe. The Trump campaign confirms the former president is OK, but attendees say this event was one of the scariest moments of their lives, something they won't forget for a long time. In Butler, Cheyenne Gibbons, WKBN 27 First News. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.